All right, fam. We've got actually quite a bit to talk about. Um, <laughs> I haven't done one of these in quite a while, but welcome to yet another late drop. So I've been sent a lot of things from a lot of you guys. Um, I will leave Instagram accounts linked down below. Uh, shout out to Lama Lama and the rest of Deal Team 6, Eugene, uh, all the usual suspects. DeWalt is coming out with brand new Tough System 2.0 boxes. Now, we knew these were coming. We just didn't know when or what was coming. So we're getting a full-size organizer, finally. Thank goodness that other organizer was eh, not great. Honestly, not great at all. In fact, you guys can go see my comparison where I compare it to the pack out, really. Um... So hopefully this one is considerably better. And they're also coming out with some totes and I believe a backpack. So that's pretty cool. It looks like it will use the Tough System 2.0 system. This one claims 25 pockets. Is that true? Probably. How big? Eh. You know, they say 25 pockets, but a lot of times those are like for pencils or screwdrivers and stuff like that. Nothing, you know, earth-shattering or groundbreaking or anything like that. But on these photos, they kind of gave up the ghost. Because if you look down in the lower left-hand corner, what does that look like to you, fam? Those are, in fact, drawers. So we can look forward to Tough System 2.0 drawers coming soon. Yes, I know I shared this to my community and uh, in a community post sometime last week. But I also shared a lot of this stuff that you guys are going to see tonight with some of the bigger YouTube channels. Nobody covered it. Nobody cared. So I thought like Thanos, you know what? I'll burn this mother down and I'll do this myself. Also, over at Sack Fasteners, they're getting the brand new 3-inch DeWalt cutoff tool. They would not send me one in advance believe it or not, but, you know, I'm willing to bet Acme Tools will. So these bare tool cutoff tools are going to come with an onboard wrench storage. I'm sorry. It's a freaking Allen key. All right, DeWalt, don't get cute. It's an Allen key. Forward and reverse capability, tool-free adjustable guard. You know, you guys can read. Y'all aren't dumb. At least I hope you guys can read. Three different wheels, you know, diamond wheel, uh, bonded abrasive wheel, I'm guessing for masonry, perhaps, and a multi-material wheel for metal and things of that nature. Hopefully this is much better than the M12 variant, because let me tell you, I would put that thing against tile, and the tile would just laugh at me, like I was tickling it. Ah, <sighs> good times. Anyway. This will, just like the M12, have forward and reverse capability. I know I already mentioned that, but, you know, it's it's good for when you want to throw sparks at your coworker versus yourself. Something like that. The brand new, but not so brand new, Craftsman Brushless RP lineup is starting to show up in Lowe's near you. Um, this is the brand new but doesn't really look that new oscillating tool uh, what does rp stand for we still don't know uh real purdy is one i've heard already but um you know it's there and hopefully they clear out the older inventory much cheaper because 119 bucks when you can just turn around and buy the dewalt xr for like 69 bucks, 79 bucks on, on a sale? Nah, fam, nobody's touching this with a 10-foot pole. And let's address this. Is this a Photoshop? Hmm. So I looked into ADZ Wise Goods, and it turns out they're an actual retailer over in Europe. More on that in a minute. Let's jump into the deal stuff, okay? So over at Direct Tools Factory Outlet, they have the brand new framing nailer. Why is this important? 
because they are having one heck of an MLK Day sale with 20% off and free shipping. Hey, get back here. I'm not done with you. Code is, oh my goodness, DTFO MLK sale. You're going to punch that in and it'll give you 20% off with free shipping. And they have a whole bunch of rigid stuff. Look at that. The Octane Brushless Cordless Router. Uh, dual Bay Charger was up there. Don't touch that chainsaw with a 10-foot pole. Trust me. Bunch of good stuff. Um, I don't think this is Ryobi's brand new 4-volt stuff. I think this is their old, what was it called? Tech 4, something like that. Anyway, 20% off of $19.99 plus free shipping. Not bad. Power cleaning tips, uh, pin nailer, cool stuff like that. You can't really beat that stuff. Let's see if they still have the high torque. I doubt it, but it never hurts to check. Rigid high torque. That is definitely not a high torque there. Subcompact. Octane. Cordless high torque. With ship to home. 159 I don't think that price includes a 20% off. So that's pretty wicked right there. This is the most powerful half inch high torque currently on the market at least under 200 bucks anyway this thing even puts the m18 in its place as much as i hate to say it so take the win tools with souls over at ohio power tool you can get the brand new as of yet unreleased dewalt flexvolt 20 inch chainsaw no I didn't say that incorrectly, fam. That is a 20-inch chainsaw, electric cordless chainsaw. Look at those bikes. Oh, man, these pictures are getting all jumpy on me. Those are, I mean, business spikes right there. Those are some spikes. <laughs> what else to say about those? Definitely better than the plastic junk I got on my 20-volt saw. I might have to upgrade and what is that battery peeking out of the top there? Battery so big that it won't even fit in the housing. Let's check it out. It comes with a 5.0 amp hour battery. No, not really. Actually, the battery it comes with is the DCB615. And if you guys Google that, that is the 15 amp hour flexible battery. Wicked. Absolutely wicked. The kit's going to include a charger, a bar sheath, a rugged carrying case, a sharpening file, which is freaking awesome because I've never bought a cordless chainsaw that came with a bloody sharpening file. Please, guys, come on. I own like three battery-operated chainsaws. Not one of them came with a sharpening file. And, of course, a tensioning tool. Now, does this mean that their uh, easy-adjust tensioning system is gone? I have no clue. I don't think nobody knows. This is... Unrele unreleased as of yet, but Ohio Power Tool is shipping them out right now and breaking all kinds of street dates. So kudos to them, because that's how I like to live my life as well. And speaking of broken <laughs> street dates, over at Acme Tools, they are taking pre-orders with the guarantee that it ships on January 31st. Now, will they keep that guarantee? I don't know. It's doubtful doubtful but the last time i shared something with y'all it was way ahead of the game from acme tools they indeed broke those street dates that was the installation driver which we got on sale so 169 for the bear tool is not bad especially if you want to chuck that m12 out the window now let's address the thumbnailed elephant in the room the m18 track saw now, I know what y'all are thinking. This looks a heck of a lot like their right blade, seven and a quarter inch uh, fuel M18 saw, the regular fuel saw, right? Well, we got some photos over here from Big Red Power Tools. This is an official Milwaukee distributor over in the UK. So here's the bad news. I don't have any confirmation on this at all. Now, 
that thumbnailed picture is more than likely a really bad, piss poor attempt at a Photoshop. But this one right here looks to be the real deal. That is in fact on a track. And well, I'll show you guys the track in a minute. Um, is this what going what the final saw is going to look like? I have no clue. I hope not, because this looks literally like the seven and a quarter inch fuel M18 saw that they currently have right now. So one other thing that you guys will note, nowhere in the title does it say track saw. It just says circular saw guide rail compatible. What does that mean? Are we getting a track saw? Who even knows at this point, but it releases in the UK on January 30th. Also available in Australia or New Zealand. I, I don't even know. What, what's the country down there, fam? Leave it in the comments and I'll ignore it. The point is nobody cares. This is going to have a no load speed of 5,800 RPMs. Uh, this diameter of 190 millimeters. You guys can do the conversion there because <laughs> I don't do uh, metric. My life is lived in freedom units. <laughs> anyway, this link will be in the description down below as well as the link for the track. There it is. 1,400 millimeter guide rail. How many inches and feet is that? I don't know. Eight, maybe? It's got to be at least four, right? That way you can cross-cut plywood. 119 British pounds. That converts to, I don't know, some number of dollars. This link will be in the description down below, but at least for that much money, they include a carry bag. So, regardless, that is what it will look like. It's not a bad-looking track saw with a bad-looking saw. Or, not a bad-looking track, I should say, with a bad-looking saw. This is what a real man's track saw looks like. Pretty nice. Includes a 59-inch track. You don't have to guess at the numbers there. 619 bucks. The same thing with the Makita. This one actually requires two 18 volt batteries. It is a 36 volt track saw. No track included in this kit. 499 bucks. You guys are going to pay an extra 100 bucks for that Makita track. Regardless, it is a saw that means business. And both of these saws include plunge features, which I don't know that this has, but at 339 British pounds, it looks like it's going to cost the same amount bare tool. That's what body only means. And that's going to do it for this one, fam. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a comment down below on w which brand you guys think is best so I can humiliate it in the next video. Have at it, fam. Good luck.